The longer you are here, the further the criminal goes with my bracelet. But by all means, fire away. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet. Grey cells. We must. I cannot see the logic in this. Perhaps a second look at the evidence in front of me. something I am not seeing. I should not be surprised by my own skills of deduction. The longer you are here, the further the criminal goes with my bracelet. But by all means, fire away. You have been of great help to my investigation, mademoiselle. I will do everything I can to find the culprit and return your bracelet.
anything to show you I didn't do it. And madame, I need this job, monsieur. She never used to be such a witch. When the Viscount was alive, she was much nicer. He was the head of the house, he gave the orders, and he treated us right. I would have gone long ago, monsieur, but my family can't afford for me to be picky about my employment. I was not aware you were supporting your family, and at such a young age. Papa lost his job at the factory just before he left for good, so Mama had to work even more. I was old enough, so I went to work. When I joined the Vandenbosch house, the Viscount was very kind. I didn't think he would care, but he wanted to help. He gave me some extra in my first pay pack, enough to keep the landlord from kicking Mama out at least. No one had ever been that nice before. I didn't know what to say, but all he wanted me to do was work hard for her. He even let me to go home and visit Mama and my brothers at Christmas with a food parcel from the kitchen. Mama said she had never seen so much food. It's always been hard for her. Even before he left for good, Papa wasn't around much, and even when he was, we both wished he wasn't. When I walked in Mama's house, everything seemed so much smaller. I must have got too used to the size of this house. I swear, you could fit our house in just this lounge. We didn't have much, but we didn't want for much. It... The valuables in the house do not determine the love it shares. Someone should tell Madame that. Not that she'd listen anyways. I will uncover the truth of what happened today, Mademoiselle. That, I promise you. Merci. I shall take everything you have told me into consideration. Certainly, officer. You have found the culprit, and the bracelet. Everything will be revealed in good time. Would you be so kind as to gather everyone in the lounge? Of course. Merci, Mademoiselle Elizabeth, for gathering everyone. Will Madame Van den Bosch be joining us shortly? She stormed past me not long ago, and I have not seen her return. Very well. Under usual circumstances, I would wait. But I think we have spent enough time on this matter, n'est-ce pas? We shall have to proceed without her. This morning started like any other. My usual ordinary patrol. Until I was approached by Mademoiselle Elizabeth about a suspected burglary and a missing bracelet. A crime I've been falsely blamed for! That I shall come to. I began my investigation outside, but it was not long before I realized there were no signs of an intruder. So I turned my focus to those in the house. You. Florette, your time here at the house has not always been the easiest for you, shall we say. I do what Madame tells me. And to the highest standard, I presume. Madame's standards are very high. I do my best. And you would at least expect fair treatment for the work, not to be spoken to in such a cruel and vicious way. Monsieur? I refer to how poorly Madame Vandenbosch treats you. 
You are at her beck and call, and she does nothing but belittle you. That is Maman you're talking about. Just wait until... It is nothing but the truth I speak, Mademoiselle. Mm. All the while, Mademoiselle stands by and does not even notice such cruelty. That must have angered you. I... Perhaps you thought it was time they deserved some retribution. Stop trying to put words in her mouth. I am merely giving her a voice, one that has been silenced for so long. Maybe I do think she deserves it. She's had the world handed to her on a plate, and the likes of me get nothing. A motive begins to rear its head. You're just trying to get me to admit to something. Well, I've done nothing. Uh, allow me to finish. I am sure you will want to hear what follows. Let us return to this morning. I was only trying to help Lizzie. You must have known how Madame would have reacted to your late return, especially with her prior treatment of you. She's angry at whatever I do. But nonetheless, you were willing to help a colleague, a friend, knowing what the repercussions could be. And that show of loyalty to your friend has been the thing that proved your innocence. Monsieur? Because of such willingness to help, you were delayed in town. Meaning, you had no viable way of taking the bracelet from Mademoiselle Angeline's room. There was simply no opportunity. I told you! Maybe now Madame will believe me. It is evidence not even she can ignore. Which then leads us to Mademoiselle Elisabeth. Mademoiselle Elisabeth. You have been with the Van den Bosch family for quite some time now, correct? That is correct. You have grown close with both ladies of the house and your fellow members of the house staff, would you say? Of course. And I certainly hope they feel the same. Officer, please. Elizabeth, what is he talking about? I am referring to the lengths Mademoiselle Elizabeth has gone to to remain in your maman's employment. It is Madame's house. She can enforce whatever rules she chooses. Even if they are going against the very nature and cornerstone of man, to love. I still do not understand. Perhaps that is best for everyone. It is neither my place nor my want to make this situation any more awkward than it needs to be. Oh, thank you. Besides, it was not that story that cleared Mademoiselle Elizabeth's name. Rather, Florette's. Florette's? But she was not here for most of the morning. But when she was, more precisely while preparing the table in the lounge, she noted that Against regularity, you arrived alone for breakfast, without Mademoiselle Angeline by your side. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. It means that I found myself with two suspects with potential motives. But with a lack of opportunity, I was left with only one. Mademoiselle Angeline. You can't believe I would hide my own bracelet. I have nothing to say. How dare you speak to me like that? You have no idea what you are talking about. You can't actually believe I would hide my own jewelry. If you didn't, Explain to me how your memento tin with the bracelet inside came to be lodged inside the chimney of your bedroom fireplace. You have no proof I put it there. 
Besides you being the only one in the room alone, even after finding the bracelet, I still did not know why you had done it. Until I contemplated why Madame was selling so many heirlooms and art. You had no right to snoop through our house in the first place. When it is part of my investigation, I have every right, Mademoiselle. The unpaid bills and final notice from the telephone company. Maman can do what she wants with her art. That means nothing. But when there was no more art to sell, what then? You could not risk her taking your father's bracelet and selling it. Hmm. So, you staged a burglary pretending it had been taken, preventing her from selling it. Then you stood back as the innocent Florette paid the price. She didn't think about me at all. She was going to take my bracelet and sell it off. It would have just ended up on some old wrinkly wrist. I didn't think Mama would blame her. I didn't think she would do anything. But she did. And somehow that evidently didn't cross your mind. When Madame returns, you shall have it all to explain. Maman can't know what I have done. She will be furious. But Mademoiselle Florette will be proved innocent. And that is what is important. No crime has been committed. So I see no reason why this should continue any longer. It is time you considered the consequences of your actions. And now, you must face them head on. Maman, you're home. Of course I am. And I've brought someone that will bring some order to this chaos. Major, I can assure you, I have this situation under control. From what I have heard, you are far from it. The missing bracelet has been found, and the guilty party has been identified. I am well aware that the maid servant was behind it all. And yet, I see her standing as free and innocent as you and me. I am sure Madame Van den Bosch has informed you of her suspicions, but I'm afraid it was merely speculation. Excuse me? After conducting a full investigation, the evidence and facts led me to deduce... You are not accusing my daughter of... I'm sorry, Maman, he's right. Florette is innocent. I just wanted to show you. Shh, girl. I will not have you guilted into taking the blame for that sticky-fingered girl. Perhaps it would benefit you to remember you are nothing more than a simple officer of the law. I was a Poirot. A word. Madame van den Bosch was forced to make her way to inform me, alone, I might add, of the goings-on at the house today. Major, with all due respect, she was impeding the investigation. This may be how some officers act in the city, but here we show respect to our citizens. You are an officer of the law and should act as such. Insubordination like this will not be tolerated. As the ranking officer, I have conducted my investigation and... Ranking officer? Ha! You are an auxiliary officer. You have little authority over anyone, let alone a major. You would be wise to remember who is close friends with your commanding officer. 
After what I have heard of your past in the city, I'm sure he would look upon today's events as another failure at the hands of Officer Poil. Oui, Major. Now I suggest you do your duty and escort the maidservant to the station where she can be formally charged and a sufficient punishment handed out. Right away. I am sorry, mademoiselle. This is not the outcome I expected. Maman was right. We'll always pay the price for the upper class's actions. We will do everything we can to clear your name. What can you do now? Madame said I'm guilty of a crime and I'll be punished. That's that. A crime that was never committed. Once the truth is explained, this wrong shall be set right. Angeline did not intend for you to be arrested. Surely you know her better than that. I should have known better than to expect anything else. Justice and fairness don't reach the likes of me. What you saw today was not justice. In the eyes of the law, you are innocent and have been harshly treated and wrongly accused. No one will be going to jail. But that doesn't help my employment, does it? That I cannot save. But your freedom, I shall make sure of that. Detective Poirot, I trust this finds you well. It has been many years since our paths last crossed, and while I'm sure your recollection of the events may differ from mine, I hope that receiving this letter has not rekindled a sense of animosity toward myself or the Van der Bosch name. The impression you made is something that has stayed with me since that day. It compelled me to reconsider the spoilt young lady I would have inevitably become and helped shape me into the woman I wished to be. You made me see the childish and selfish girl in me that did not consider the consequences of her actions or how they may affect others. Although Maman may see the events of that day differently, I believe the compassion you showed for our maid Florette, as well as the drive to uncover the truth and accept no alternative, was a testament to your character and professionalism. Although I wish it were under different circumstances, your assistance is once again required, and I hope you will consider this as my formal request for your service. This forthcoming weekend was due to be one full of joy and happiness at the announcement of my engagement to Gideon Demir, whom I love dearly, bringing together two illustrious families, but it has been shadowed by deceit, extortion and blackmail. The Van der Bosch name is being held to ransom by a mysterious party, and I am afraid I do not know who I can and cannot trust. We are holding a small gathering to celebrate our exciting news with what Maman calls the dignified elite, those that are well respected and held in high regard in both our close inner circle and society. Our private matters have always remained just that, so I fear one of those invited may be the person who is out to ruin our name, but for reasons I cannot fathom. I have enclosed a first-class rail ticket for you to join us for the announcement, and having contacted your superiors and the correct authorities to request your assistance, 
which they were more than happy to grant me. I shall expect your arrival with great anticipation. There shall be a carriage waiting for you at the station to bring you directly to Nemozan House. I thank you in advance in our time of crisis. Yours respectfully, Angeline van der Bosch. Thank you.